We're at Bilo in Cleveland, getting ready to save you big bucks when it comes to grocery shopping. I've got the coupon queen, Sonia Magram, joining us now to talk all about saving some great cash when it comes to shopping. You've got your bag ready, full of coupons. Those at home that are watching, what are some of those first steps to get ready to do shopping like this? I try to purchase anywhere from five to ten newspapers a week, depending on what the inserts have in them. It depends on how many I'll get. Um, I sit down, cut them out, get them separated in each pouch. I get pulled out what I know I'm looking for this week at the store and then once I've got it in my pouch I put it all together and I'm ready to go and roll it out. Now when it comes to some of the TV shows that we see or the extreme couponing I mean it goes to the extreme. You don't do it quite as much but you do have a goal in mind. I do. I try to spend or save at least half of what I've spent. Um, you know if I've, sp I've saved more then I'm happy with that. If I've not you know half is great. And of course, that kind of keeps it uh, level-headed there a little mm -hmm. bit. Doesn't uh, make you go too crazy when you do some shopping. Exactly. All right. Well, I say right now we do some shopping. Let's go. All right. One of our first stops, produce. Now, there's not really typically coupons for produce, but there are some great tips to save money. Right. You want to shop for produce or meat whenever it's on sale. Um, buy one, get one free, or half price, or even just any kind of sale because there's not coupons on those items. Um, any kind of discount is a good discount with or without a coupon. And lots of times when you see it half price, you can tend to stock up more at right. that time versus if you just see it for 20%. Right, because you can always freeze fruit and vegetables and stuff like that. You can always freeze that stuff, so, and meat as well. All right, Sonia, in this case here we have several toothbrushes, but that's key. It is. I buy more than one just because I have three children at home. You never know when somebody's going to lose something or have a friend over that forgot their toothbrush or anything like that. So I purchase more. Other people may may not need that many. But the point behind this is, is to shop based on the sales, not on what you need at the time. And there's going to be some cases where you may actually spend quite a bit mm -hmm. at the very beginning of this, mm -hmm. but once you have five toothbrushes, mm -hmm. maybe like myself who only has one child, mm -hmm. I may not need another toothbrush mm -hmm. again for two years. Right. Right. All right, well, I know we still have some more shopping to do, so let's keep going. All right. Look at that right there. All right, so I noticed here we found a closeout deal, and that's sort of key, and that's one reason why you bring your bag of all your coupons. Right. You never know when you're going to come across a closeout sale in the store, so I bring everything in. That way, if I am on the health and beauty aisle and Dove is on clearance for $1.89, I can pull out my Dove coupons and rack up on some Dove soap. And just like the toothbrushes we did moments mm -hmm. ago, you can buy multiples of mm -hmm. this because, really, they don't go bad. Right. All right, let's continue shopping. All right. Now, Sonia, we're over here in the frozen food section. Found a great deal on some Purdue chicken by going online and getting coupons. Do you have some tips for those that want to go online and find great savings? I go to a couple different websites. I go to Time to Save and Southern Savers. Uh, Time to Save is here locally in town. The Southern Savers is out of town, so you might find a little bit of variances. But they have the links there where you can touch where it says printable, touch on that, and you can print to your computer in your printer and print out uh a couple coupons that look just like right. that. But now, in cases of going online, they sometimes want you to download things and little clippers here and there, which in many cases is probably safe, but just in case. Always want to make sure you have a good spam filter and a good um, antivirus protection on your computer. And then in some cases, you may want to run a scan afterwards just to be on the safe side. Now, in some cases, you will only find these coupons online and not in your local newspaper, but there's some big savings there. Right. So you just kind of recommend going to the website anyway and downloading Right. All right. Well, I know we have a buggy full here. We're going to toss these in. And I think the best part and the fun part is checking out and seeing how much we save. That's right. When you're giving them your coupons, it's a courtesy to them to separate out your manufacturers from your competitors just because their competitors don't scan and they have to put them in differently. before bonus card and coupons. We're going to hand this to her and see what we get to. Today you saved a total of $72.15 with your bonus card and coupons. It's $1.50 off of every gallon, up to 20 gallons. So we were able to save over 50% in this particular mm -hmm. case today and appreciate all the tips and helping mm -hmm. us out out there. Very welcome. I know we're going to save thousands of dollars for thousands of people. Thanks. Mm -hmm.
All right, some great tips there. And, of course, if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to contact Sonia. There's her email address on the screen, and, you know, she'll be glad to answer any questions that you may have. And happy couponing, my friends.